So it was the beginning of um, September 2013. Um, beginning of the month was kind of um, stressful for my family. My grandpa was in and out of the hospital. Nothing really major, it was like small stuff. And um, you know, me and him were really close. You know, at nighttime we used to have talks and everything. But he had to move away because the hospital he went to was in LA. So he had to go stay with one of his, um, his sisters so he would be close to the hospital. So uh, around that time also it was kind of like um, football season was starting. So uh, me and him, he called me on the phone, he was at the hospital and he told me, you know, I asked him how he was doing, he said he was good. And um, the day was going on and then I called him again later on that night and I asked him how he was doing again and he's like, oh, it's good. And I was like, okay, I was like, I'm gonna see if I can go visit you. And he's like, no, he's like, stay, stay there. He's like, it's nothing minor. He's like, I'm just in here for like medication reasons and stuff like that. He's like, you just focus on football and everything. And football was kind of big at the time because since I was a sophomore, I was competing for a starting spot in varsity. And the person I was competing with was a senior. And it was kind of kind of big at my school. It was like, you're kind of taking away your the senior season from like that person who's a senior. It's the last year and you're a sophomore. So he's like, no, just stay home. He's like, focus on that. He's like, I'm good, don't worry. He's like, go, he's like, go do your thing. He's like, get your spot. He's like, I know that's what you like. And I was like, oh, okay. I felt motivated, you know, I was like, okay, I can do this. So I think it was, I believe it was September 20th. I get up in bed, you know, I'm all excited. It's the day I practice, probably gonna figure out if I get a starting spot. So I go to school, all my friends are giving me high fives. I'm like, oh, you can do this, you can do this, you can get the starting spot. You know, I'm all hyped up, I'm going to classes. You know, it's actually like the first time, you know, I was kind of enjoying school because it was like, I couldn't wait for it to end. So the day was going on, everything, lunch was coming through, you know, all my friends were kept on telling me, oh, you got this, don't worry, you know, you got it, you got it. And then I was like, okay, okay, I was like, just leave me alone, making me more nervous than I already am. So the day goes on, school ends, I go to my locker room, go out, change, I stay away from everyone, I just put all my headphones on, I'm listening to music just to get my body ready. I'm all kind of like just shaking around, like right, like to shake out the jitters, whatever. I just get ready to another practice. So as I'm getting ready, I'm just there, practice, practice is gonna start. So I get ready, go onto the field. Coaches, I'm all looking for um, the head coach over here because I know he's the one who's gonna choose. So practice is going, I'm doing good. And if um, any of y'all know football, I play defense. So we're playing and I got an interception, you know, it looked good. And then the funny part was when I was walking back to the, like, to the sideline, I looked and I was looking around and then um, the person I was competing with, the senior, he was kind of just staring at me and so I felt awkward. I was like, oh, okay, it's kind of awkward, he's a senior. I felt like he was gonna beat me up after practice or something. And then um, I was doing good, doing good. I look up into the stands, I was like to see if my dad was there, but he wasn't there. I was kind of felt awkward, he was just there every practice. So I was like, okay, it's kind of weird he's not there. I was like, I'll tell him after practice what happened. So practice is going on, everything's going good still. And then practice is coming to an end when we start doing sprints. So after we're done doing sprints, I look up to the stands again and my mom and dad aren't there still. So I was like, okay, it's kind of weird they're not here. So the coach calls us in, we all take a knee. He's all giving us a speech and everything, it's all over. So we get up, we're going off the field and he calls me aside and I was like, okay, I don't know what he's calling me aside for. I get next to him, he puts my hand on his shoulder and I put my head down. I was like, oh, he's probably gonna tell me, you know, good job, you know, you're a sophomore, just worry about next season. So then he comes up to me and he's like, you got the spot. So inside, you know, I was all jumping and everything, but like outside I kind of keep like calm and collected. I'm like, okay, just don't we'll be overexcited. I don't want to run. I just wanted to like to push him away and run away. But as it went on, I was like, okay, thank you coach. I was like, yeah, I promise, you know, you won't regret it. So I went to the locker room and as I was walking to the locker room, I looked up into the stands again, my parents throwing there. I was like, okay, it's kind of weird. So I go, I change. I get, I wait out for my parents. I was like, okay, no one's picking me up. My sister comes, you know, she picks me up and she's all quiet. And I was like, okay. I was like, I didn't ask any questions. I was still in the car. So we keep on driving and we drove to the hospital. And I was like, okay. I was like, maybe we're visiting my grandpa. And then um, I get off, we go inside and then I'm going to the room and I noticed in the waiting room, it was my, um, my mom's dad. So it was her side of the family. All my aunts and uncles were there. And I was like, okay, it's kind of weird. Like, why is everyone here for it? So then I couldn't wait to tell my dad that I had got the starting spot. And then I was like, okay, it's kind of weird. So my sister, instead of going to the waiting room where my dad was, my sister took me to the room um, like automatically. So when I walked into the room, I turned the corner and I saw my grandpa was hooked up to all his IVs and he had a mask. And I was kind of like, okay, like I didn't know what was going on. So then to the side of the room, my mom was sitting down. She was tearing up with my aunt and everything. And I was like, okay, it's kind, of, it's kind of like, what's going on? It's kind of weird. So I go up to my grandpa and he's unresponsive. He doesn't, he's not saying anything. So I'm sitting down and I didn't really want to ask any questions because I was like, okay, I kind of feel awkward, like I'm just going to stay quiet. The doctor comes in and then he asks my, um, my mom and my aunt if they wanted to shut down the machines because that was the only thing that was keeping them alive. So then I was like, okay, I was like, like what's going on? That's weird. I was like, 
like, like I just talked to him two days ago. He wished me like good luck, guys. You know, I told him I was gonna come see him. He told me not to. So then, you know, I found out that they take me out of the room and that they end up um, shutting down the machines and his body is shutting down slowly. So you know, I was in the room waiting with them all the way to the end. And um, you know, with what I thought was gonna be like a really amazing day, like I was starting um, starting position on varsity, you know, it turned out to be like the total opposite. And um, you know, I just felt really bad because instead of going and visiting him, you know, he told me just to go focus on that. And the next thing I know, that was the last time I talked to him.